Welcome, collectors, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. As you can tell from the title in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the newest Matchbox Convoy truck offering from Mattel. Now, interesting story behind this. I'm assuming that this, for whatever reason, was delayed and uh, wasn't with the latest batch of Matchbox Convoys, because as you can see on the back... The other two trucks were released over a year ago. The Lone Star Cabin box trailer with the 1972 Ford Bronco 4x4, uh, along with the Tesla Semi and box trailer with the 2015 Tesla Model X. And here you can see now the new MBX cab over and box trailer. Now, there's no number designation on this card like there was on the first releases of this. So before we go ahead and unbox this and take a closer look at this, let's get the full story. So starting off, we have the first four releases that were part of the Matchbox Convoy series. We're going to go in numerical order here. We're going to start off with the aforementioned Lone Star Cab and Box Trailer with the 1972 Ford Bronco 4x4. Now, as I said, these were released uh, in 2020. And if you look at the top of the card right there, you can see one of eight. Now, when the first four trucks were released, there were four in the case. This was one of the four. And if you look at the back, you can see the other three that were going to be in this collection. And all of these did appear uh, in this mix or in this range. You have the Badlander with the MBX cab over and tanker. Over here at the right-hand side, you have the Dirt Smasher with Ford Cargo and Logger Bed. And uh, as I said before, the Tesla Model X with the Tesla Semi and box trailer. So, one of eight. This was supposed to be an eight vehicle collection. Number two, this one was very difficult to get for whatever reason. Uh, I think this one was universally well received in the Matchbox collector community. Uh, this is the Tesla Semi and box trailer with the Tesla Model X, which we know is a 2015 model. Number two in the range, always good looking card art. Uh, the Tesla cab, the semi-truck, is really, really well done and scales out quite close to 187 scale for those of you that uh, might want to pick this up and maybe do some customizing and bring it up to spec so that it looks like a nice 187 scale or HO scale uh, over-the-road truck. And then it just has a generic Tesla logo box trailer. So that was one and two in the collection. Next we had... An unlicensed cab, which is also known as a Matchbox uh, generic casting, MBX cab over, and tanker with the Badlander, which again is also a uh, Matchbox original design. There is the card art on this. Again, some nice desert background. Uh, Dragon Slayer Petrol on this gasoline tanker. Not too much to write home about on this. I'm not a huge fan of unlicensed trucks, particularly in this line, because there's so much that Matchbox can do. Uh, and there's a lot of old castings that uh, used to be in the old Matchbox Convoy series line a number of years ago that they could resurrect. Talking, of course, about some old Max, some Kenworths, and some Peterbilts that would fit in very, very nicely with this uh, if they could get the license back. I digress. That's number three of eight. And the last one in the first initial release, number four of eight. This is another favorite of mine, a licensed truck. This is a Ford Cargo with a log trailer, a logger bed, and Dirt Smasher. Now, Dirt Smasher, of course, is not a licensed casting. It's not based on a real piece of equipment uh, other than potentially a log loader. But no log loader has a bucket at the back of it like this. Um, the five logs that are included are somewhat nice. They are plastic, but they do have some casted in detail to give it some uh, detail associated with the logs. The Ford Cargo is not a truck you see here in North America, um, but I am told that they are pretty popular in other parts of the world. So that was number four of five. Now, it was a while before we saw three additional convoy vehicles uh, in this lineup, and number six was missing. So we'll start off with number five. If you want a closer look at these three in particular, I did an unboxing and inclusive 
uh, review of each one of these recently. So take a look at the top of your screen and it will take you to that video. But this is the second iteration of the Tesla Semi. This one, of course, is gray where the first one was black. And this has a pipe trailer, which is almost identical to the logging trailer, except that this has pipes, uh, which is pretty cool because you can actually join the pipes together. And this has load lifter, which again is another Matchbox original casting. Um, based off of, very loosely based off of a load all uh, integrated tool carrier. So, again, a very popular casting. So you'll notice now that your numbers have moved over here, and this is number five of eight. And at the back, we only have three instead of, you know, the second run of four. So that's also very interesting to me. So I mentioned that we're missing number six. That's where this comes in now nowhere on here does this have a number where it should say you know six of eight but i am assuming and based off of some things i've seen on the internet i'm assuming that this is the 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 space filler or the model filler the gap to round out the first eight models in the return of the convoy series so i'm assuming whatever was supposed to be six of eight uh, either the licensing wasn't done or they didn't get approval for it and it was canceled. So they just threw in another Matchbox generic cab over uh, cab over engine truck and then did a Matchbox trailer. So I'm assuming that's what this is. So effectively, this is six of eight, which once we get through the general overview of the collection, we're going to open this at the end of the video. All right. Number seven of eight. This was another favorite. Not necessarily for the actual rig, which again is that hideous, unlicensed Matchbox cab over and auto transport trailer. This came with a 2011 Mini Countryman. Another thing to keep in mind, which is obvious for most of us, but these are not to scale. Uh, the trucks, for the most part, scale out roughly to 187, in some cases smaller than that. And the vehicles, depending on what they are, the cars scale out roughly to 164 scale. Whereas something like this, which is a load all integrated tool carrier you're lucky if you can get it close to 187 scale but anyway in terms of play value for youngsters it is a double decker auto transport trailer so you can fit probably close to half a dozen vehicles three on top maybe three on the bottom very comfortably okay and the last one in the second round which should have been four but is three this is a licensed casting it's the second run of the International Lone Star Cab with the Rocket trailer, and this does have an express delivery uh, Matchbox basic range vehicle to go along with it. Again, nice background. There's a really good look in the card art of the famous International Lone Star front grille. You can see those coming a mile away down the highway practically. And uh, again, over here, eight of Eight. Here's the back of it if you wish to see that. So that brings us back to where we started. Brings us first circle, full circle rather, to this, the Matchbox Convoy. Now, again, I just found this. These are just hitting around me. And to be honest with you, I was pretty shocked that uh, I found this on the pegs. Honestly, uh, you have more luck of having intimate relationships with Jessica Chastain than you do of finding any new Hot Wheels or Matchbox around my area of the world. But again... Taking a look at the back, for those of you that might want to see that, there's the barcode up close. And again, the back. But what we really want to do, let's turn on the spin table. Let's get this thing unboxed. Now, I do have a couple samples of the previous Convoy series that are opened that occasionally I use for demonstration purposes. Or, in the case of, let's say, the Tesla, I actually frequently use it as a part of my 187 scale displays. So pardon my arm and pardon the uh, pipes that want to go everywhere. And we'll have him on the spinny table just for something to look at while we unbox the MBX cab over with Matchbox trailer and the forklift. So these in stores roughly go for between $5.99 and $6.99. Uh, I was able to find it in my local Meyer. There goes the Tesla. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Live TV, folks. You never know what's going to happen on this channel. Anyway, we have our vehicle out of the packaging. Let's put it on the spinning table and hope it doesn't suffer the same fate as the Tesla did. Kind of ironic that it was a Tesla that uh, 
crashed. If you've seen the Tesla pickup truck unveil, it's uh, you get the joke there. So there's our convoy vehicle. We have our box. We have our truck. It says U.S. convoys up here. You have MBX 2020 also underneath that. Some nice warning decorations all over it, whether it be chevrons or triangles. Uh, your basic tires and wheels that are on almost all of the convoy vehicles. On the back, doors that uh, appear to be non-opening. And again, the cab portion is die cast. Almost everything else, honestly, uh, does appear to be made of plastic. As we come back along to the other side, uh, we can see very little interior detailing. You can see where the main rivet hits the inside of the truck. Underneath, you can see where the um, base portion meets the top portion. Made in Thailand, copyright 2019, MBX cab over, uh, production code N30A, copyright 2019 Mattel. Again, information for those that care about it. A very generic truck, again, not very realistic for two reasons. One, it's not a licensed casting, and two, cab over trucks here, at least in the state, are deader than a doornail. So let's take a look at the other accessory that comes with it. This is obviously based on a small forklift vehicle. Of course, not to the scale, but if you had it maybe lifting something, which it looks like, with some force applied, that the forks maybe can go up a little bit, but they seem to be stuck on mine. So I'm not sure if this is meant or designed to go all the way up, but at least it goes up, I don't know, maybe a fraction of an inch on mine. It does have a set of spinny wheels at the rear and obviously your main tires at the front. So overall, kind of a neat addition to the Matchbox Convoy line. Would I have liked to see something licensed? Absolutely. They could have thrown in perhaps a uh, piece of fire apparatus like a tiller rig, for example. Uh, that would have been a welcome addition. But if they just needed something to fill a gap and something quick, I can see why they just chose to do this. You don't really have to do a whole lot of licensing if it's basically an in-house representation, in-house truck, in-house trailer, in-house vehicle with an in-house livery. Simple is as simple does. I appreciate you guys watching as always. As I said before, if you're interested in seeing some of the other convoy vehicles, take a look at the uh, video at, the, at your screen right now, and that'll lead you right to that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.